Miles Davis once said, painting is music you can see and music is painting you can hear. This quote beautifully captures the essence of how both music and painting can convey complex emotions and ideas. Realizing that when you play something, you're not just producing notes, but also creating emotions changes how you approach music. So today I want you to feel like we are painting with sounds, starting with a blank canvas, using the guitar as the brush and music as the art we paint. Let's start with a handful of basic chords and place them on our canvas. We are in the key of C major and we only need a few chords. C major. E minor. F major. A minor. And G major. Nice chords, but we can make the picture a little more colorful by adding rhythm. We will use a simple arpeggio. You can either play it with a guitar pick or with your fingers. Just like in painting, where every brush stroke contributes to the overall scene, in music, every rhythmic pattern we weave through our chords creates a deeper, more vivid sonic landscape. We are in 6-8, so we can pick each chord six times, like this. <laughs> Think of these basic chords and rhythm as the foundational colors on a painter's palette. Essential, but just the beginning. As we start to add more chords and rhythm to the music, it's like a painter mixing colors to create new shades and depth. With each new note, we're not just playing, we're crafting a more intricate and captivating sonic masterpiece, turning simple chords into a symphony of colors for the ears. Now let's add a little bit more chords variations to the chords we already played. Now for the C major, let's use C, but also a C sus4 chord. Now this is a suspended chord. I love the quality that brings to this chord progression. Suspended and unresolved. For the second chord, E minor, Let's actually play an E minor 7th chord. Beautiful in its, you know, open sound. For the F major chord, let's also play an F6 chord. With a D here on the 2nd string. It's a simple embellishment that doesn't alter the chord that much but it creates a beautiful movement within the chord. The last two chords from A minor to A minor add 9. The beautiful and melancholic with this major 9 played within the chord. And for the last chord, the G major, let's add a suspended fourth again. So G sus4 and G major. So as you can see, we're adding a lot of color and tension to the chords. Now this tension isn't dissonant or uncomfortable, rather it's intriguing and it really makes the chord progression sound alive. <laughs> So let's add more details to the painting. I'm gonna show you how to add simple phrases between chords. This is not going to alter the chord progression. Instead, it's going to add even more color and details to the music. Let me play it for you.
As we come to the end of our session today, I hope you have felt that unique joy of painting with sounds through your guitar. Remember, every chord and melody you play is more than just music. It's an expression of your inner world. Whether you are a beginner or a seasoned player, keep exploring the endless possibility your guitar offers. Let each strum be a stroke of color, each note a shade of emotion, creating your own musical masterpiece. Thank you so much for joining me today. Keep practicing, stay inspired, and until next time, keep painting your world with the beautiful sounds of your guitar. Thank you.